Oh, that was great. I really liked you. Good. Do you want another cum? I'm fine. Let's relax. Tell me a bit about you. It's a hundred more. I'm fine, thanks. It's just a hundred more. I'm fine, thanks. Maybe next time. Alright. So how long have you been in London? Um, two months. How do you like it? I don't like it. It's very honest, I like it. Why? I mean, you come here to make money, but everything is so expensive, it's just impossible. Yeah, I see. It's not easy. So what's your goal? Why are you here? I want to have my own business in Bulgaria. A bar. It would be a coffee shop on the beach. I see. I need 12,000. Well, it's not too bad. It can be done. Mm -hmm. Do you want to make it with two girls? Well, no. Yeah. I have a very hot flatmate. She's also from Bulgaria. How much for the two of you for now? Mm, 300. Maybe next time. Come on, you have to do it while you're still young. Yeah, you're right. Maybe next time. Can you leave a good review on the company, please? Yeah, we'll do. No worries. So, how's everyone's week going? How is your job hunting? I was talking with this company for a while. They may need a new interior designer from next month. Oh, that's great. Yeah, we'll see. I think they're too small. I don't know if they understand they need to sponsor my work visa. Come on, just cheer up. Uh, David did. He managed to get a job easily enough, right? Yeah, but Chloe, you know, Spanish people don't need a visa. At least I didn't need one back in the day. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I just, I didn't know that. You're Spanish? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. I recognize, like I said, there's some accent going on there, but I couldn't point out exactly from where. Well, I'm originally from Madrid. I've been living here for seven years now. I came for uni and you know how it is. People come here and get stuck, I guess. You know, guys, I actually met David at uni. We used to have a marketing class together. And this guy, he used to be a real thing of the community back then. I'm not even kidding. So what happened? I don't know. Life. Just what really happened. I haven't seen you in a while now. I guess, uh, uh, I don't know. You know, all my old friends, they, they left London and then I felt out of touch. Um, I couldn't really job, it was stressful, so um, yeah. Maybe you should just go out more. I know this guy's through an app. Why don't you download it? I don't know. Oh, come on, lad. You may find yourself a girl. <laughs> Maybe. Or a serial killer or, or a scammer. <laughs> <laughs> so what's it called? It's called Locos. And I just really think you should try this. Because I can't see you all like that anymore. Yeah. He's been a bit of a recluse this past months. No partying, no girls, no fun. Chloe? What? what? I'm just saying. You just you should go out. Have, have a, a, take, take a leap of faith. Yeah, but you know how these people are. Everyone leaves. Every, everyone comes here for three months, half a year, a year. They finish an internship, a job. They gather some cash and then they leave. You know, that's what happened to all my friends. Hey, but what's the alternative then? You no, know, I think she's right. I mean, I'm trying as hard as I can to get my sponsorship and I only have one month left. See? That's exactly my point. 
People just leave. You need a change of mind. You know, negative attracts negative. If you think like that, of course you're only gonna attract people who are here for a while and then they leave. But if you think positively, you will find meaningful people who you can have meaningful conversations and I'm sure they will stay with you. What is that? Coelho? It's actually Sincero and I think she's right, she's got a point. Sincero. I don't need a change. See, you can do it! You're actually enjoying it! Yeah, actually it feels quite nice getting out and meeting new people. No offense, I still like my old friends as well. Mm. Okay, friends, no taken. All right, boys and girls, traffic was horrible today, but here we are, we made it. The rules are very simple. Girls remain seated. Guys, turn around every five minutes. After the show, you can all make your matches online, and the results will be available on your account after tomorrow, 1 p.m. Hi, my name is David. Hi, I'm Carmen. Nice to meet you. So, where are you from? I'm from Liverpool. Liverpool? Well, originally from Australia, but I grew up in Liverpool, and now I just moved here to London two years ago. All right. So how do you find it here? Well, I moved here just before COVID, so I haven't really got to do many things. All right. Well, that's that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. So what do you do for work? Oh well, basically, I'm a marketing officer. Oh, how about you? Okay. Um, I just finished uni, oh. so I'm um, studying art. Finished studying art. Oh, that's Okay, well I'm a very artsy person. I mean I love going to arts galleries and well I'm working on this book now. Oh, that's so cool. What are you writing about? My book is uh, about London from, a 20, from the point of view of a 20-something year old immigrant. Oh, that's so interesting. Wow, okay. So what kind of art are you into? Like art is such a broad concept. Is there anything specific that you like? Well, I guess more modern, but then I really like infusing the indigenous Australian culture, so kind of merging the two together. Okay. I really like modern art, but sometimes I just don't really understand it. I mean, I go to Tate Modern, I look at all these exhibitions, but without the descriptions on the side of the installations, I wouldn't really know what's going on. But I do appreciate art, and I want to engage more in the, the art community in general. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, you're the expert, you know the area, so I'll just follow you. Oh, okay. Now you put some pressure on me, but okay. I don't even know what you like. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll improvise.
really interesting though that you forgot to write right number seven. <laughs> yeah. That's what I Definitely. Love pizza. Do you have a faith? Not really. Let's go with the flow. So I don't like spicy or if the pizza's burned. <laughs> I think I'm quite the opposite. I like it spicy and a little bit burnt inside. <laughs> Following. Okay, you follow me. I follow you. Sorry about what happened. Thanks. How are you feeling? Broken. I'm sorry to hear that, but you know, this is common. Yeah, I know. Also, you're not the only one with the situation here. What do you mean? You know, my friend, Carol, she's leaving. She couldn't find a job. Can it get any better? The fucking immigration office. Also, me and Josh. Well, what happened now in Fairland? Hey, don't say like that. Sorry. Bad day. No, but really, what happened? Nothing. Just nothing ever happens. That's the issue. I'm always the one picking up the phone, texting. It's like, just doesn't even care. It's not interested, I think. We are together, but I feel so alone. You know what I realized? It's just how things are. It's how it is. They're never gonna get any better, but we can be better. We can learn to be less needy, less clinging to others, less touched to our expectations, but still be hopeful. Still willing to enjoy a stranger's company, accepting that it will most probably last for just one night, just one afternoon. People leave. They always do. But we can't give up on ourselves and our life. Small city thinking, I get why you left Small-minded people